When we asked you guys what Brazilian desserts we should do, you said it has to be something tropical and that you love condensed milk puddings. So we've done the Pajim de la Ranga. And if that pronunciation has offended you, you're gonna love the next five minutes. This dessert is amazing. It's two elements, a guava caramel and like a, an eggy condensed milk orangey filling. Okay, it starts off with a caramel. So we've got caster sugar going into one saucepan along with a dash of water. Ben's really good at making caramel. He has definitely not let it burn twice in the last two weeks. What you're gonna do, <laughs> don't stir it, swill it from time to time, and never leave it unattended. That's your job, Jake. We're not just making any old caramel for these puddings. We're going to make guava caramel. I'm just gonna reduce that down by half. Straight off the bat, I've got a problem with this dessert. Why? It's not Brazilian, Ben, it's Portuguese. All my research said, this is a Portuguese dessert, traditionally. And Portuguese, the national language of Brazil, colonised by Portugal. You can see where the traditions lie. And now this dish, whether it's in the homes or high-end restaurants, it's savoured as an amazing dessert. Not always with orange, like we're going to do. Okay. Um, sometimes just literally condensed milk. It's called condensed milk pudding. It's delicious. You're going to love it. Keep your eye on the caramel because as it starts to turn, it will begin to do so quite quickly. And as soon as you've got a nice golden colour, we can add our guava juice in. And that's kind of our twist here. That'll do. And at this point, it will kind of congeal into one lump of caramel, but just keep it swilling. Is that is amazing. tropical? Yeah. It's amazing. I'm amazing, amazing. Rio. We've got ourselves some individual little uh, Dario moulds, yep. you can use ramekins, anything you want. As long as they're all roughly the same size and oven proof, then as soon as this caramel is in one kind of smooth mixture, pour that into the base of each ramekin. Just a tablespoon or so. This mixture makes about six, and that's the first stage of it done. Cool. Now we can do our filling. Four eggs, if you can crack those into the bowl. And next up, we add plenty of condensed milk, a whole tin. And this is an ingredient they use so much in Brazil. We've had a couple of actually Brazilian tutors, I suppose, over the last year or two, haven't we? We had Otavio and PC from El Royal Gourmet, and then we had Danielle from I Could Kill for Dessert. Uh, and I think we've used some of their influences in today's recipes. Next up, a little bit of regular milk, okay, whole milk, and then the part that makes this orange flan, orange. Zest of one, juice of two, and that's it, recipe done. How simple is that? As long as you've got it all smooth and the egg equally combined, it's ready to go. So grab ourselves a jug. Did you know that Brazil is the longest country in the world from north to south? 2,800 miles from north to south. And the second highest number of airports of any country really? in the world. Yeah. That too is fascinating. What other facts do you know about Brazil? Relevant or not relevant to this recipe? <laughs> There we go. And then all we need to do is cook them. So they need to go into an oven at 150 degrees Celsius for about 25 minutes. But before you do that, remove one of them and top it up with boiling water. So you're essentially cooking it in a hot water bath and that will just stop the egg from curdling. So that goes in there. The whole tray into the oven, 25 minutes, and then we can leave them to cool. Where's the oven in this kitchen then? And there we go. Our puddings have set up in the fridge. Now, before we invert them onto the plate, we're going to make something else to go with them. We're going to serve with a beautiful papaya salad, made even better by... Oh, it's got to be Brazil's national drink. It's a caipirinha. It starts with a lime, chuck those in there with a teaspoon of brown sugar, basically muddle it. So I learned something... I say I learned, I try to learn a quote about a caipirinha. How'd it go? I'll muddle. You muddle, I'll find this. So it says, Quanto pior a cachaça, melhor caipirinha. Mm. The worse the cachaça, the better the caipirinha. What I didn't do was find out why. <laughs> so if you know, please tell us why, the, if the cachaça is bad, the caipirinha is better. So then we're going to add in our cachaça. This is like a Brazilian version of rum, really, isn't it? It's, it's still sugar canes, but it's a fresh sugar cane rather than molasses, which would make it rum. And that's it. That would be served over plenty of ice. Okay. We, on the other hand, are going to toss it with some papaya. So what we've done is peeled and sliced our papaya, taking away the black seeds. They are edible. I think you can dry them and crush them up and they're, they're kind of spicy and tangy, a bit like black pepper almost. Yeah. But for today, the flavour comes from the beautiful tropical papaya and your caipirinha. So, a tablespoon or so of that. And that is a beautiful accompaniment to go with our puddings. The best way to get these out is hot water. So grab yourself boiling water into a pan and just submerge it for five seconds is usually enough. Loosen right around the edge, 
and the whole thing will just pop out like that. Oh, look at that. And then in the bottom of here, you've got all of the amazing caramel. Yep. So just kind of give it a stir. That's the best part. Plenty of our fresh papaya next to it. Maybe a little wedge of lime. And there we go. There is our take on Pujim Jaranja with papaya and caprinha salad. Quite a tongue twister. Um, but please tell us if we pronounce any of it wrong and more importantly, if you do it any differently. Fire up! Delicious. Really fruity. That is. That is like a creme caramel, but on a different level. On a beach. Yeah, on a, on on a, a beach. beach. You got the papaya, you or got in the rainforest. You got the guava and you got the orange. We tried the papaya. Ooh, that's got a kick. But there's only one thing left to say. Obligado.